Well, because there's so many things to be, you know, negative about. Like recently, I've been trying to be one. One thing I try to be grateful for that uh, I don't usually be grateful for is uh, freedom of speech. Because I just wanted just anything. Because my friends are just anything, and I was like, oh, freedom of speech. That's a good one. You know what I mean? Because usually we don't think about that, and it's so nice. Yeah, freedom. Of speech. That, one of the things that come with freedom of speech is that you could boo the president. Mm -hmm. That's an option. That's so nice. <laughs> boo. Stop sniffing people's hair at work, boo! And he just gotta take that shit. Oh, oh shit, okay. You can't do that in North Korea. So I appreciate it. Before you even finish the boo, you'll see a missile. To stop the boo! It's so nice. Because there's too many things to be negative about if you want to be negative. You know I mean? This next thing, um, it's a little bit controversial, but just take a ride with me, okay? Los Angeles. Not... Okay, sir? <laughs> I, I don't like, and I'm against guns. I have them, but I'm. <laughs> Are we still here? Or do we jump off the bus immediately? <laughs> Because I know, see, it's weird now because some people, that's it, I, it's really conflicting in my heart because look at my face. I know I don't look like a person that would have guns and that's why I got 17 of them. <laughs> and, but it's really conflicting, that's why, because it's dangerous and I don't want anybody in the world to have it. But the thing is, it's America, every other person has it and also Asian hate and that's why I told you, I got 29 of them. <laughs> Because if you live in a bad neighborhood, people would just walk around, look at my face, and go, you know what, I'm just gonna rob him with nothing. And I'm like, just kidding, bam. <laughs> oh shit, I got one too. <laughs> no, but I thought about it. It's really conflicting because I have a, a, my friend who's really against guns. He's like, Jason, what are the chances of you even surviving a gunfight? I was like, yeah, super low. Almost impossible. But I was like, you don't even have a gun, so your chance is zero. <laughs> to me, it's like lottery. If you don't play, you won't win. <laughs> I don't know, I'm conflicted, but I have to, this is another thing I appreciate. There isn't war on the US soil, and that's so nice. There's war in other countries. Military, strongest military, definitely, but I feel like a small percentage of why there isn't war on the US soil, because the citizens have guns. Because what kind of stupid terrorist will be like, hey man, this war's been here for a while, you wanna take it to the US and do like an away game for once? <laughs> Are you stupid? <laughs> Even their citizens have guns. They're literally shooting each other. What do you think they're gonna do to us if we go there? Get out of my office, please. <laughs> I like to think the terrorists are sassy. Get out of my... Because <laughs> I feel like somehow uh, the citizens <laughs> of America are a little more dangerous than the military. Because the military, they have rules of engagement. They have to assess, is that person a threat? Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Not the, not the, not the people in the South. The rules of engagement in the South is, get off my lawn! And whether the person is off or not, the bullet is on the way. That's why I feel like it's a little more dangerous. That's why. But I don't know, I'm still conflicted, guys, because it is dangerous, I don't want to, but, and I'm also super paranoid. I literally have a gun taped at the inside of my lamp next to my bed. Yep, like a psychopath. My wife's like, just put it in a nightstand like everybody else. I'm like, you think I'm stupid? Everybody puts it in a nightstand. If the burglar come in and he want to take my gun, I'm like, just kidding. <laughs> and now the light is on too. <laughs> two birds, two stone, bitch. <laughs> Who's the stupid one now? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> but I don't know. I am really paranoid. <laughs> I really do have
have a tape. I have a, I, this is just to show you I'm really paranoid. I literally have another gun in the kitchen inside the pantry next to the peanut butter. <laughs> My wife's like, we're definitely not gonna do this. I gotta sell it on it. I'm like, babe, listen, if I make you breakfast <laughs> and we're vulnerable, because breakfast is the most vulnerable meal of the day. <laughs> we just woke up, we're groggy. What if the burglar would come in with a gun? Now I have the option to be like, sir, please don't shoot. I'm just making a peanut butter bullet sandwich. <laughs> you thought you gonna come to my house where my dick is at? That my wife pays for the house. When her and I. And I know some of you like, but Jason, you're waving the gun everywhere. That's the worst gun handling safety ever. Los Angeles, I just want to let you guys know. This is how you let the burglar know that you're freaking crazy. It sends a message. It says, I don't give a shit about you or me or this bitch here. I'm about to shoot her Too. If you are against guns, trust me, I'm with you. But if you like them, me too. 